Hello everyone, greetings. My name is Rahul and Salesforce Consultant at Webpool Software Private Limited. In this video, we are going to cover all the configuration steps for real-time settings. It means here, when we want to sync the records from BigCommerce to Salesforce in real-time, we need to do some configuration in the Salesforce. Now let's start with the Salesforce configuration by creating a site. So in order to do that, we will go to the setting icon and here we will click on setup. In the quick find box, we will type sites. We will click on sites, scroll down and we will click on new. Here we will update the fields like site label as big commerce. We will select the site contact default report on. We will provide the default web address as eShopSync for big commerce. We will make the site active by checking this checkbox. We will select the active site home page. In order to select the active site home page, we will click on search icon. Here we will select the answers one. We will scroll down and click on C. Once we create the site in the Salesforce, a big commerce site guest user will be created in the Salesforce. Now we'll assign the permission set to the big commerce site guest user. So in order to do that, we will go to the quick find box and here we will type permission set. We will click on permission set. Here we will click on the letter P. We will select the permission set name permission set for big commerce guest user. We will click on manage assignments. Add assignments. Here we will select the big commerce site guest user. And we will click on next. We will click on assign and click on done. Now let's go to our application eShopsync for big commerce and here we will click on the edit icon. We will click on the tab real time settings. Here we will select the Salesforce site URL. We can configure the real time settings as per our requirement. As of now, I will enable the toggles for category, product, customer and order. It means here big commerce category product, customer and order will be synced in the scenes force in real time. Now we will click on save and proceed. We will close the tab here. We have successfully configured the real time setting. Now let's see how the real time works by creating a customer in the big commerce store. In the big commerce store, we will click on register. Here we will update the fields like email address, Password, Confirm Password, First Name, Last Name, Company Name, Phone Number, Address line 1, address line 2, city, country, state, zip code and we will click on create a car. Now let's go to the Salesforce and here we will click on customers. So our customer has been created as a contact and the account is created by using the company name. We will open the record here 
and the customer create it by using all the details which we have provided at big commerce end like customer name phone number detail email address and the mailing address detail thank you for watching and if you have more question please write us on support@directwebcool.com have a nice day